I'm an intuitive painter. That means I'm never sure where a painting is going to take me. What I do know is if I show up in the studio and do the work and listen to the painting, I'll eventually find out. I approach my work with a sense of experimentation and play. I like to see how far I can push a painting. Sometimes I go too far, but that's not a big deal. It just becomes another layer. Every painting has a story to tell, a mystery hinted at through the marks and textures on the surface. These serve as a jumping off point for the viewer's imagination. My work is non-representational, but it's influenced by what I see in the world around me. I'm often drawn to old and funky things, rusty things, cracks in the rocks and sidewalks, things that other people might not notice. Another influence on my work that can easily be overlooked because it's not a visual is memory. Memories of places where I've been and people that I love. I begin every painting the same way by making random marks on the surface. These marks are soon followed by layers of paint and more marks. Things get covered up and then I peel off paint and reveal them. And then I put more paint on top of that. I use a variety of tools and mediums to get the job done. The painting shown in progress here is oil and cold wax, but the technique would be the same even if it was acrylic. COVID hair never bothered me until I had to make a video. 